హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ప్రశాంత్ గారు వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ వీఆర్ అన్ అ ప్లేయర్ ఎయిట్ సిరీస్ టుడే యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఆర్ అడ్వాన్స్ లెవెల్ టాపిక్ ఓకే అజెక్ట్స్ కాల్ ఓకే ఇన్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ సమ్ లైక్ హయ్యర్ లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ రోల్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ లైక్ సీనియర్ లెవెల్ రోల్ యూ విల్ గెట్ దిస్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ అజెక్స్ కాల్ ఏజే ఏ అజెక్స్ సో ఐ విల్ సీ వాట్ ఇస్ అట్ అజెక్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ సో దెర్ ఆర్ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ బేస్ అజెక్స్ హ్యాండిల్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ సెలెక్ట్ వన్ వాల్యూ లైక్ ఐఎమ్ సెలెక్టింగ్ కలర్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ డ్రాప్ డౌన్ సో సీ దిస్ the below drop downs are getting populated as updating suppose i'm selecting a fruits in this see this right now the below uh, call below drop down is updated so these are the one of uh, ajax call like this this effect will make some other changes in a ui okay so see yeah, i'm going to inspect this page so this is kind of a api today i'm teaching networks if i go to network scale i am clearing uh, in this network tab if i am clearing this all this if i click now all the things will uh, like goes off if i am selecting the colors see here this api call is hitting so this api call hitted and give a response if you go to the preview tab you can see the response so this is the response came like red blue green so what app, what is happening in this place when i modify this value this is sending one request to the server and server is sending a response based upon that another in the entire page there's another response is happening like the view of changes okay so how is happening due to this apis happen ajax call okay so this is a header so this is the url for this and it is a get request and it is passing a response code as 200 okay you are able to see right so this is comes in the network tab basically so this is the ap call is triggered okay and this is the url and this is the response code and if, if you want to see the body of the response so you can see in the under the preview tab okay see this you can see under the preview tab so this only we are going to take right now we are going to study how you will validate in interview are asking how you will handle the ajax right so today that only we are going to handle it so as usual i'm going to create a new python file okay the basic setups are common going to new going to python file this is ajax like ajax call something i'm giving a name and uh, inside as this as usual i'm going to write a the snippet okay so from play write dot sync api from this i'm going to import a sync playwright from this i'm going to write a with sync playwright the playwright as a p value so in the here as usual browser equal to p dot chromium to launch the browser okay after that browser i'm going to create a context context you guys know it is store multiple values multiple pages basically new context from this context i'm going to create a page page equal to context dot new page okay so after creating a page i'm going to the url okay page dot go to i'm getting a string i'm copying this url and i'm pasting it here okay so i am into the url after that so there here we are already studied a drop down if you are missed out the drop down series na you can watch in around 5 or 6 i think so you can read the drop down so here i want to modify the category drop down so i am going to inspect the category drop down so this is one of a select drop down if you see if i uh, like expanded this select drop down it will opening the options okay it is a select tag it has a name as a cat ongoing ajax function id as s1 and it has a certain options with this okay so we will see how to select it first of all i want to take the xpath for select so i have a id as s1 so i am putting control f double slash select square bracket at id equal to in quotation i am going to give the s1 see this one of one so i am taking the s1 as the id value so here 
what I'm going to do simply I'm going to use a select equal to page dot select query dot so in this select but wait for you need to wait for a selector sorry wait for selector in the selector I want to pass our X path so what is the select tag X path this is the select X path from this I am going to select an option select dot option select option so which selection option you want to pass I am passing 2 suppose you are you can pass the value as well as a string I am passing 2 so 2 is what 2 is a color from this list so what will happen now when you click on the 2 so it will select the second drop down ok so here you can think when you selecting the 2 automatically what is happening in the system is when I selecting a color automatically this drop down is updating so this is a response so how to make our teach our code to read the response so for that I am going to create a page dot on function on so on this is a event function basically what even response we are going to get it from what that response from where from the lambda ok lambda function from the response I am going to create a one method for this in the top I am giving a two spaces two and three I am giving a space in fourth place I am writing def handle rejects ok rejects handle the rejects method this will take the response as the input in the input I am going to in basically there are so many APIs will in back and will keep on run that too it is testing site this will run so many here this is on something is running here below if you go to there is so many API will run in this page so I want to control I want to only fetch which API the API which has the URL of this URL another thing is up to dot PHP only this will be constant you want clearly understand up to PHP only it will constant this ID will change every time so we cannot take that as well so for that I am going to put on one uh, if statement in the if statement I am telling see this this is an API this is a URL in response dot URL so there is a big URL will come so I am telling this there is a big URL come but in that big URL if this part is coming that part alone contains so for that I am using in function after that in function if that is the url means what is the first thing i want to know i want to know the status of the url so response so response dot status ok status after that i want the data what data is going to come so i am going to give a data equal to response dot text so that is a method it will bring the response ok and after bringing that I am going to write a print statement print f in that why I am putting f now I am going to print this both the vari variables so I am telling I am telling the code status so what is the status is going to come S status in this colon I am going to give a bracket and in this I am going to pass the status what status going to come comma then after that I want to pass the data data colon in the curly braces I want to pass the data so what it will print it will print the data ok that's it cool right ok so we, I will go line by line in this place first so we set up the response if this url coming in the if statement means it goes inside and it will fetch the status and it will fetch the text and it will print ok this and all be done so what is our method name handle dot rejects so you want to mention in this place and you want to pass the response how cool now so whatever response is coming so you will pass to the person ok so after that I am going to put a one wait over here page dot wait time so I am going to wait for uh, 2 seconds you know right so basically we so there is a small mistake I done so I need to put I forgot to put a semicolon 
that's it okay so then colon so this is the overall so what will happen now what this person will do this person whenever i am teaching my code see here if any response coming in the back end please take it so when i am going to sell the second drop down the response will come so my listener so page dot on is a listener this listener will act according to that okay see this the status is 200 and the data is what sub category red sub category blue sub category green sub category yellow all the four values is listed in this drop down suppose i am giving i am selecting option 3 so 3 i don't know what is the 3 so 3 is a games so when i am selecting a games drop down see here when i am selecting a games drop down so i want that data basically so i'm launching the app if you see in the browser it will select the that option which option uh the games option in the drop down i'm running see this it is ran cricket football sub category and baseball so if i give a uh, two means to already be given a one so one we already saw it's a fruit right so it will run so it is mango banana so whenever any response is coming this ajax call uh, that means actually the response is for ajax call ajax call like, like on api call it will hit whenever you doing any action that's why if you see the code of this web element see this on change event there the developers calling a one function what function ajax function is calling so that ajax function is modifying this sub category So as a tester, we need to validate based whenever any action is occurring on my Ajax drop down or any place how it's the other option is working properly or not. So interview, I will ask you like how 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 you handle the Ajax call. So if you going for a play rate means you can tell. So I will put a one on page on event for response listener. So whenever any response is coming, now I will take the response and I I will write a method for that. so my method will verify the status code is 200 or not and it will take the data and verifies all the data is working or not so this is called a ajax so the advanced topic only but it's cool so tomorrow we will see the web table okay so thanks for joining if you like the video please like and subscribe and share to your friends thanks for joining